Hi, this is going to be a short video on the Born approximation. So it's short because I'm basically using it as a test. Um, just to, because I, I'm using it LaTeX here, and I do, I'm just using it as a test basically to get me used to making PowerPoints on LaTeX. So the Born the Born approximation is to do with this equation here, something called the lippmann schrodinger equation. And this equation gives you the the wave function from sc the scattering of a plane wave of a potential phi r. This first term is the initial plane wave, and this second term is the scattered amplitude, which in the far limit, so this is actually an already approximated version, and the approximation used here is that r is much bigger than r prime, so in this far limit, this um, it, this is a spherically symmetric wave. No, it's not spherically symmetric. Let's specify. It is uh, a wave moving out from the center. It's not spherically symmetric because this may depend on theta. Um, I need to specify when I said r is bigger than r prime, I mean r prime where phi is significant so basically where this integral dominates for the r primes where this integral dominates this r we take it to be much larger than that this uh this integral along with this coefficient and the minus sign is something called the scattering amplitude and that scattering amplitude you can use to do all kinds of stuff um you can use it to find something called the form factor uh the scattering cross-section you can actually use it trivially to find the scattering cross-section it's basically the modulus squared of the scattering amplitude of that coefficient it's the somewhat called the differential scattering um, uh, scattering um, scattering cross-section but i digress and we should probably get back to the born approximation this this equation looks quite simple at first sight you have an integral yeah that's an integral most people learn to do that quite a long time ago if they're watching a video like this I guess um, and then you have just this this coefficient here or this first term here which is solved for you so you don't even need to worry about that that is uh, that is until you realize that you have a psi here and a psi here this means this is an implicit equation for psi it's not as simple as just solving this integral we need to be clever about it and we need to use an approximation. That approximation, as you can probably get, probably guess, is the Born approximation. And what we do in the first Born approximation is replace this psi with this front term here. So this front term, this this free wave solution, gets put into here, and that gives us this. Notice we replace the r prime, sorry, the r with an r prime that's just so it fits within the integral uh, so you can see here that this is a function of r prime so we need to use r prime within the integral uh, this is a nice expression because it can be simply expressed like this in terms of this matrix element so to find things like the form factor all you need to do is remember that it's proportional to this matrix element and then you're done basically uh, in some cases, so if you find an scattering amplitude, you also need to remember the coefficient. But, but the coefficients, like, you can look that up, I guess. It's not that hard to remember. Okay, so the second Born approximation, you may be able to guess what it is. It's basically subbing the first Born approximation in for this sign. In other words, we get the following. We replace the psi that was in our initial equation with this first born approximation. And that's the second born approximation. The third born approximation is found by subbing the second born approximation in for that psi. And so on for as far as you want to go. So in general, the nth born approximation is found by subbing the nth minus 1 born approximation into this expression for psi. So that's the end of this video and it concludes uh, the Born approximation. Thank you for watching.